Hello, Cole here, aka Trans Spirit Indigo, a soul having a human experience, and I'm transgender. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Let's get into this video. Okay, so gut intuition, it's golden. It's your intuition is a guidance system. Your intuition is there to help guide you in life and to make decisions that are best aligned for you and your life. When I was around four and a half years old or my first memories of realizing that I was a boy, but it was really confusing because I was in preschool by that age and I was in a situation where boys were in one line when we lined up for whatever, lunchtime, <laughs> and girls were in another line. That's when it started to confuse me, okay? And of course, as the years went by, it didn't become any less confusing. If anything, it became more confusing. My gut intuition told me at a very young age. I, I felt like a, a boy by four and a half. Um, by eight years old, it got to the point where it was really draining my energy and um, there was a lot of just sadness going on with me as a child because I, I felt like I couldn't tell anyone that I felt that way. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you know a lot of the boys and girls would have crushes on each other in school and I was told where I had grown up and the, the church I was involved in at the time um, when I was that young, I went to a private school until fourth grade. So the specific religious beliefs that I was being told by my environment was that um, girls and boys were supposed to be together. That boys and boys and girls and girls were not okay. And they didn't even mention the possibility of the in-between of the non-binary. That goes against their belief systems. And... Um, I mean, I wouldn't expect them to be open-minded enough to talk, to talk about that. That's kind of the problem from the get-go. But anyway, I digress. Um, so seeing those genderized, binary, male, female, you know, girls' bathroom, boys' bathroom, um, stand in this line or that line, you go with the girls, you're a girl, you're a girl, you're a girl, being told I was a girl, it just was like, no, that doesn't, that doesn't feel right. And it's, see, the, the thing is, it's interesting because I've had people ask, well, how would you know what being a boy feels like if you're not a boy? If you weren't born, if you weren't born a biological boy, how would you know what a, what uh, being a boy feels like? Would be the correct terminology for that. And uh, my reply has always been over the years, I just knew, I just know. And now after going on a more of a spiritual path, sorry about that, whoop, the light, <laughs> more going so on a spiritual path, I've learned about gut intuition and about how it is a guidance system. And we all have gut intuition. It's in our stomachs. It's in our uh, solar plexus, our gut intuition. I mean, I could be wrong. I haven't thoroughly studied the chakras yet. It could be located in all the chakras um, for all I know. But for me, I feel it in my stomach. It's that gut intuition, okay? And um, w we all have it. But a lot of times through the programming that goes on on this planet, um, from what we learn, it's like we're taught to not believe in it or, or taught to think it's like, eh, but it's it's there for us every day to use. Um, it's funny because thinking back to being four and a half, five years old and feeling the way I did, the way I identified on the inside, my soul, and having crushes on girls from, I remember um, there was a a crush, if you want to call it, um, my last year of preschool, when I, I had just turned five, with my, the way my age was, was like right near the cutoff, but kindergarten, there was this girl that I, I had a huge crush on. I met the first day and I wanted to hang out with her and um, I didn't know what a crush meant. I was five, but how many boys or girls do you see that, you know, they're like, oh, they have a little crush on them. They're following them around. I mean, it happens to humans. It's a human thing. And the issue for me was over the years, I began to develop these negative beliefs that like 
I wasn't worthy of feeling that way because being gay was wrong. And now I'm just like, oh my goodness gracious. Like it's all about reprogramming these beliefs. First off, I'm not gay. I'm transgender and I, I identify as um, heterosexual. So I didn't know what transgender meant. I didn't know what non-binary meant. I didn't realize the gender is fluid. I didn't open my mind to so many things, you know, <laughs> on this planet, the programming that goes on, um, trying to program us into this binary system. <sighs> you know, it's like, yes, I understand that there's a penis and then there's a vagina. You know, people want to argue, well, there's certain... It doesn't always match the brain, the soul, the human. The parts don't always match. So that's just the way it is. <laughs> and that's the way it's been since the beginning of humans. There's always been people who I, are transgender. And it's a beautiful thing. And I'm so thankful to be here talking to you about it. And I appreciate you stopping in. So yeah, I just wanted to talk real quick today about gut intuition. Um, listen to it, please. That little voice in your head, I mean, it's not maybe technically a voice that you audibly hear, but it's, it, it usually sounds like your own voice. It's kind of like, I should do this, or, oh, I shouldn't have had that piece of pizza today. You know, <laughs> it's the, there's your gut intuition, okay? So when you listen to it, it usually guides you to the best circumstance possible for your life, and I hope that helps in any way possible. I hope that if you were having doubts, trusting your gut, that maybe you aligned with this video and it could help you realize yes you can trust yourself you can trust your gut intuition and I'm glad that I trusted my gut intuition growing up and thinking you know it doesn't make any sense that I feel like a boy considering I had never heard the word transgender or knew it was a possibility but I always trusted in my gut that I was and I trusted that one day I'd grow up to be a guy and I didn't really know what that meant well I'm a trans guy here talking to you on a spiritual journey much love y'all um don't forget, please leave a comment below. Tell me a little bit about your experiences with your gut intuition, regardless of what it's about. And uh, make sure to like this video. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.